first order was to approve the minutes of December. They'll be running on Saturday. Okay. And also, um, I have not received checks, any of my checks from uh, um, like October. Yeah. So I don't. I still don't know what's going on. And they've been submitted to yes. Caroline and CC me because I get. Yes. Okay. I remember seeing them go through, not the checks. I remember seeing the the okays go through. I have a check on that. Yeah. Sorry about that. Question. I don't, yeah. As long as they arrive sometimes. Well, yeah. you want them now. <laughs> yeah. 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 So. Don't be a nice guy. Um, before we get into the workshop piece, though, I did just want to make one, I don't know, I don't even know if it's a comment, but I'm sure everybody did get the letter from the, um, and I can never say the name right, Lonsberg. Um, you know, and again, there's nothing of this committee that can do anything with that. It's not our, our it's jurisdiction not or our, um, you know. So obviously, I'm sure everybody here has the compassion for the family, but again, it's it's deceased and put aside. Yeah, it's not that that we're, Nothing that we're able to deal with. Um, from the workshop standpoint, I wasn't sure how, if we wanted to, um, you know, just pick who gets to go first and um, do the town as a unit, right? We're not going to, like, itemize each department. We've already done that. Um, does anybody have a preference on who goes first? Or? No? Do we want to do Dennis first because he's quick? Sure. Can I just make a comment? Yes, you may. We have to do the school list tonight. So if it gets lengthy, we can have a long meeting. If it, we oh, can defer the other two. Why don't we do the school? Okay. Well, Thank it's you. just because you have to for yeah. that, for yeah. the Saturday's meeting. Yeah. And I'm glad that Denise said something because on the 13th, which is Saturday, I am not able to be there. And Denise is graciously covering for me. So. Okay, school. Yeah, I believe the only outstanding item, and I forwarded the warrant to you, to send out. I do have two copies here. Oh, I have two copies here of the warrants. That I believe the only thing that's missing was the collective bargaining agreement, which I will. Um, so I have two copies. Did you email them to me? I emailed them to Michelle. Michelle did. Um, I, I, I can I can for, I can forward that email on to. Could you do that? Because I have gone through all my emails. Oh, wow! Well, I was sorry. Oh my God! Just take a moment. I'll make copies if you want to send it to me. Okay. It just has it right now. When do you? Yeah, I know. I'm trying to see this. I thought sure I did, and now I'm not finding it in my site thing. Maybe I did. I just don't know. It's awful getting old. Uh, anyway, the, the um, and so I can't send it <laughs> since I don't have it as an attachment. So sorry, um, copies will be around. The um, the one thing that so, so you heard about all of the warrants, with the exception of the collective bargaining agreement. We heard. I heard from the uh, union just yesterday morning, so um, they ratified it. The school board had ratified it um, uh, last Friday, so we do have a collective bargaining agreement going forward. Um, some of you may remember that last April I said that it would probably be, some of you had mentioned, let's try for the same deal. Get, get the health insurance, get the teachers up on step, and go on from there. And we did indeed, indeed try for the same deal. I said it would be about $15,000 more than it was last year. It is instead $17,500 more, so a little bit over what I had anticipated it being. So, but we do indeed have a very similar deal, um, which I think is a very reasonable deal for both parties. It's a reasonable deal for the town, and it's also a reasonable deal uh, for the union. So uh, you'll probably want to see the details on it. 
the, um, as you see them come around. So what this does is it, it puts all the teachers on their correct level of experience. In the education world, that's called a step. So because we have, not, we have not had a collective bargaining agreement for six of the last nine years, that includes last year, it means that we have teachers who are as much as, are not getting compensated for as much as six years of experience. So this collective bargaining agreement puts all the teachers on the correct uh, experience level for the correct step for their experience. Oh, uh, you, you don't want me to, you don't want me to finish the sound. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you stopped talking. Nope. I was waiting. Like, there seemed to be a lot of kerfuffle. Okay. There seemed to be a lot of kerfuffle. <laughs> um, uh, it's one's going one way and one's going the other. Yeah, but oh. it wasn't here for the first right. I did 12. Should be enough for everyone. Okay. Here, come back. Come back. So, so this collective bargaining agreement for this year, or actually for the next school year, um, put all the teachers on their correct experience level, which, which is called step in the education level. And we have some that are as many as six levels off that, that, they, that they have not received compensation for. In the, and also those six of the last nine years when there's been no collective bargaining agreement passed, the paraprofessionals has re, have received no increase. So this gives the paraprofessionals a raise also. It gives them a 50 cent uh, an hour raise for that, for them. And the other economic piece is that they have agreed to give us a, uh, to, to, they have agreed to take a much lower priced health care plan. The problem with the lower cost health care plan, while it's going to save the town $47,000 the first year we put it into, into effect, is that it cost the teachers more out of pocket. And it was very difficult for them to make a decision, to, to agree to that without getting, to, to realize that something's gonna have to defray that, um, that out of pocket cost. So in order to handle that, we put in a, a small raise, about a 1.5% raise on one step only, and that is the last step, step eight, that is on our step schedule. So we made, essentially we made a super step on all of our steps. And the total cost of that, with the uh, with everything uh, 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 sort of overlaying, the total cost of that is just under forty thousand dollars. It's thirty nine thousand eighty two, which is last April I said I think it would be about fifteen thousand dollars more. It ended up being um, seventeen thousand five hundred dollars more, roughly, than last year. So was that number thirty nine zero eight two? Yeah, it's right. It should be there on the page. Thirty nine zero eight two. So uh, that's 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 the nuts and bolts of it. Um, the last time uh, anyone in the union received any sort of increase was in the 2014-2015 um, school year, uh, and that was a 1.5 percent increase for the teachers and a 35 cent uh, hour raise, and that's the only thing they have had in the last three. Uh, uh, anyway. Six out of the last nine, and that was the last one they received, which was over three three years ago. The total increase to the town then is thirty nine zero eighty two. That is that is, that is the amount that will need okay. to be raised by taxation, correct? The amount of savings from swapping to the new uh, health care plan is yep. almost forty eight forty seven seven six three. You should see it there on. So, okay. So fair to say this is. This is a, a net savings for the town? No, 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 I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. The actual entire cost mm -hmm. of the entire package, okay. if, the, if there were no give back at all, okay. is 86. Okay. 86, 848, correct. It's right there. You have it all there in front of you. You, you should be able to see it on the second page. I don't see 86. Seventy-one. I think it's. 
yes. added to your yes. story. Yes, right. Yeah, so I have the total. I'm you have the right total. Yep. Um, Denise and then Kim. Um, I have um, one question. Uh, well, when you said that you added a 1% to the last step mm -hmm. or the last column. Actually, the bottom column. The yes. bottom column. That means that the 1% is going to the teachers who have the highest salary. Mm -hmm. Why would you have done that? Why wouldn't you have given it to the ones who have the lowest salary? Well, there is no one who has the lowest salary, or there will be none as soon as we get them on steps. We did not want to compound the step increases that people are getting, and it is only those on step eight, and it is the majority of our teachers, it's only those on step eight who, are, who, have had no com who, who will have had no compensation unless we did this. So you're telling me that all of your teachers, or most of your teachers, have mastered them? No, so no, 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 I'm talking about just eight years of experience. Yeah. We, we talk about it eight years of experience. Right. So on step eight, across the board, whether they have a oh, master's the or a the bottom across the, the bottom board. Across, I know you know not, what you're, you're not going about. down the side, right. you're right. going across. Right, across the bottom, oh, okay. so that. Then I, I agree with what okay. you're saying, sorry. I, I was going <laughs> I just meant. that last column yeah, of no. masters, I, sorry, but you're going low. across, it's step eight across, across. The, got yes. it, okay. Denise and I know what we're talking about. Well, the last raise they got was in 14-15, uh, mm -hmm. that school year. Oh, did those teachers get the bonus from last year? No, no teacher on Step 8 received any bonus last year. Okay, that's great. Um, Bill and then Denise. Uh, Denise, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. My other question was about the bonus. Thank you for the reminder. Um, when you gave the bonuses last year, did that increase their pay going forward, or was it just a bonus for that year and didn't increase their did yearly not, salary? It did not increase their annual salary. So it was just a one-time? Okay. Yes. With the um, health care, new health care plan, what is the percentage that the employee pays versus the family? Yeah, so the percentage has not changed. It has stayed at what it has been for a while because this was the big give back is getting them to go to the lower plan. Um, it was a bit too much to ask to ask them to then also pay more. So I believe, and I, I will have to. I, I, I well, it's, it's what it has been in the it's past. It's what it's been in the past. It has not changed. That leaves us some room in the future to have some things to negotiate for as we go forward. Can I just, if I, just to clarify, when you say a lower plan, could you just maybe explain what you mean yeah. by that? Yeah, it's a, lower, it's a lower cost insurance plan. Uh, they are currently on. And I, have, I might as well be as specific as I can be. Um, they're currently on, I think it's a point of service plan. I'm not 100% sure, but they've agreed to go to a, a consumer driven <coughs> health plan, which is simply a lower cost health plan because the consumer takes on some of the risk, of, 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 of they, they take on some of the extra payment. The higher, it's a much higher deductible. They are able to put money into a health savings plan that rolls over. Um, right. No, wait a minute. Hey, hang on. Let me finish. There was somebody before you, Brian, before you but said. Can you finish what you were saying? Yeah. So it, it's a, a consumer-driven health plan. Um, they get to have, they get to put some money aside to be used for it. And I believe it's, and, and it's, it's, we don't put into that, they put into that. Um, the, the actual insurance uh, plan itself, I can put some matching money into that. Um, and uh, because they, we, we, we discussed this last year, they had the time this year to, to actually find out exactly what their out-of-pocket expenses would be. Um, the maximum um, is $2,000. For, for a, a family plan, for a, a couple, um, and uh, that is not what they uh, were asking to be compensated for, and, and, we, and we would not have gone that high anyway. Okay, in order to have an HSA, because I study taxes. This is a, okay. You have to be in what's called a high deductible, high premium, a low premium plan. It has to be defined that way. So it's not really a health savings plan. That may be so. I'm not an expert on the actual plan. I know that it's a consumer-driven health. Uh, Could be an FSA. 
I, that, that may be what it is. I, I'm not the expert on the, on the we did okay. not discuss so the actual union, plan yes. with them. The union actually spent a lot of time, the union being the, the overarching union, the NEA, spent time discussing it with them and explaining it to them. So we, just know, we just know that it would save us uh, almost $48,000. Okay. And then can you tell us the total cost of your health plan? Uh, no. <laughs> well, I, I can give you, it for the teach, I can give you a rough idea. Like it's in the so budget. The mm -hmm. total, total cost, um, the, the, um, the, the uh, teachers pay, and the total cost that um, the town pays. I can't, you know, not without doing some math, I can't. Sorry. Give it approximately. Well, yes, I do have an approximate number. It's in the budget. Okay. I mean, it's uh, oh, actually, okay. but it, but it will only be for the teachers. It'll only be the one. It'll only be for teachers. It won't be for other people that we pay insurance for. Okay. I can give you a. I can give it. I can give you a rough idea if that's what you're asking for. Um, is it really the last page? One of the last pages in the proposed budget. That little. Thing? Well. Mm -hmm. It it's actually in the, yeah, I mean, there are a number of different places to find it, but that, that's a place. There's, it's also in the budget under, um, well, again, you have to add up, you have to, you have to add up a couple of different things. But, uh, it would be um, under your teacher's part, it would be under your administrative part, it would be under anybody. So, so, so let's say teacher's health insurance for this year, and so it's, it's a line yeah. under, under regular education. For for the, for our proposed so for this year, it is um, two hundred and thirty one thousand six hundred and fifty nine dollars. And it's regular education teachers. Regular education teachers. Okay. And actually, the proposed budget that's this year. The proposed budget is higher than that um, by about eight thousand dollars. So that is uh, almost. And, we, and the reason we can't give you exact figures is that it varies by coverage, and, and it can change. If someone has a baby, um, they might take a family plan. If someone gets a divorce, or they might they might go to a single plan. I mean, there's all sorts of things that, that can change. So if we if we total the regular ed and special ed health lines, that should give us approximately the total. Yeah, you also, yes, you also have to add in you also have to add in the nurse, uh, speech. Um, principal. No, the principal is not covered by the union. So that's, that, we, we would have extra savings because we would put everyone on the school on the plan. Right, that should be reflected in your budget, though, isn't it? it I mean, it, your administrator is going to have the same plan as everyone else, right? Yeah. So the, the other part of, the, of, of this, of this uh, consumer-driven health plan is it's all or nothing. Right. It's the entire school or nobody. So getting the union to go to it means we can then put the custodians on it and the principal on it and the administrative assistant on it. They're the only other folks who are not covered. So there will be extra savings that don't show up in the collective bargaining agreement. It's, it'll be a, a, a few thousand dollars, but it will be an extra savings that will show up. So to clarify that, Judy, what you're saying is this 39,000 um, increase is actually, if you're looking at health only, it would actually be less than that. It will be less than that. We, we just don't, we can figure those in because that's not part, part, it's not part of a collective bar a bargaining agreement, but it will affect the budget. Correct. We, we lower the base. We, we lower the base. Now, um, those of you who have a memory of last year, the savings were were were, were not forty seven thousand. They were forty one thousand. So we are sa well. Actually, we're we're saving more than that. We're saving five thousand. They were forty two thousand. So we're saving over five thousand dollars more this year by doing it this year. But we're also we don't we aren't we're we're not having the forty two thousand dollars savings. We're not starting from that lower base. I mean, let's face it. If, if we uh, sort of, um, if we were going to be conservative, and if we looked at this for over three years, we'd be, we're saving the town at least one hundred and twenty thousand dollars over the next three years. 
by, by going now, and that's compared to if we stay on the same health plan. It's not, it's not, it, we don't save it every year, but if we stay on the same health plan, we're saving at least that amount of money. <laughs> and then burn and then build. You off of like dental and vision, is that all part of that or is that separate? Vision is part of, of their health, dental is separate. Last year also offered five hundred dollars. Was yeah. that a kickback? That was you know, the first five hundred that they would get back. That that was going to be a, a one time stipend. This year yeah. instead we gave um, we, we, we gave a thousand dollars on step eight. Oh, okay. So so that so that it would be an ongoing an ongoing help to defray their out of pocket costs. Um, mm -hmm. Burn and then build. Two questions. One of you considers just a cafeteria plan where you have benefit dollars. It doesn't matter what plan they choose. Everybody gets the same amount of reimbursement. Have you considered that? I'm not sure that school choice offers that. I don't know. It, it was we were, we were not given that option to offer them. <clears throat> okay. The numbers you're projecting here are for one year. I mean, next year you're going to have to built in this wage increase. You may not have that savings in health plan next year. So actually this is could theoretically build in a seventy six thousand dollar increase for next year if you did the same thing again. Well let, let, let's, so 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 let's, one of the things that might be important to know is that the catch up steps only so so this a, a one time shot only increase are, are putting everyone on the right experience level. That cost is fifty eight thousand dollars. We have, there are six years that we are trying to catch up. We have not had a collective bargaining agreement in six of the last nine years. And so we have teachers who are six, so we have six teachers who are affected for a total of 20 years not on the correct experience level. For a total of 20 years for those six teachers. Isn't that amazing when you think about it? I think that's an amazing, and that is worth the last time the town passed a collective bargaining agreement, they agreed that this was the amount that teachers in this town should be paid. They agreed to that salary scale. Six of the last nine years, we have not passed a collective bargaining agreement, they have not been paid that. And it, right now, it is sort of a liability to the town of $58,000. Yeah. So, so that, that will never be repeated once we get them on there. It'll never be repeated. Should we not pass this contract? What is the cost to the town of the health care plan? Uh, okay, that's a very good question. So um, I don't know except that it's almost $48,000 more okay. than, than this. So I, I think <laughs> that would be important to know because so much of this is if we don't pass if this doesn't pass, what is in effect now is going to continue, and what will the cost of that be to the town? I think that's important to know because we can say, well, this is going to cost you know thirty-nine thousand dollars. Okay, this will cost thirty-nine thousand dollars to go to this plan, but if we don't go to this plan, it's going to cost X amount of dollars, and that that's a figure I would like to I'd like to know. Um, I think what I heard you say was. Over three years, the town will save $100,000? 120, okay. and, and, that, and that's being very conservative. Okay, so I, I think, is it fair to say then, by approving this, you know, this contract item will save the town money in the future? And if so, how much? So that we can let people know. If, if we, is, and, 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 we, and I, I know this is difficult to understand, but Last year, if we had passed a collective bargaining <coughs> agreement, we would have saved almost we would have saved forty two thousand dollars on health on, on our health plans. Because we didn't, we're paying forty two thousand dollars more this year for a health plan than we would than we would have otherwise. And the same would be true next year and the year every year we stay on the same health plan. We are paying this much more. Now to come up with exact figures is actually a very difficult calculation because this this figure is done based on exactly what each teacher has for health care. Bill has a follow-up, and then Suzanne, Denise, and then... I, I think
think it's going to be real important for the, the meeting to be able to tell town folks, look, this this is what it means for people to look at this. And I think that's what happened last year. They said, this is going to cost me 39 or whatever it was last year, so many thousand dollars. But we need to somehow let them know the cost of not passing this. I, I understand what you're asking, but... Uh, and, and that I think that's... Uh, but I, I'm not sure that it's something it is 7 o'clock at night, and I don't do math at 7 o'clock at night as readily as I do in the morning. But, I mean, isn't the difference? All right, so if we pass the collective bargaining agreement, it's going to be an increase of $39,000. Mm -hmm. If we don't pass the collective bargaining agreement, isn't it, there an increase of $47,763? Mm -hmm. It's not, a, it, it's, not a, it, it's not an increase, it's just not a savings. Yeah, that's the, the other, same. But, but you don't have the plan Oh, right. yeah. You have to have the it, whole it stays status quo. But it could be it's somewhere in the forty thousand. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't it isn't it fair to say it's somewhere around there? Yes. So 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 if we pass the collective bargaining agreement and it costs us forty thousand dollars, if we don't, then there's going to be an extra forty to some odd thousand dollars in the budget to pay for the continuing the same health plan. So, so I mean, in, one, in one case, you make this, the teachers whole, mm -hmm. and you're paying for experience that, I, I, I've said this before, I don't know why they don't sue us, because it's in the contract that they should be getting paid their, their, according to this, their schedule of experience. So this makes the teachers whole, and, we sit for, and we've got this savings of you know $47,000 for a net increase of the $39,082. Yeah, I mean, I think this, this is, I understand that it seems to be difficult. It, it, I think what people need to understand is that the town has put the school in a difficult position and the union in a very difficult position because we have, we have teachers, we used to, everyone used to be on step eight for a number of years, lots of years. People were, people were the highest paid teachers they could possibly be based on our salary schedule. Then, some members of the budget committee actually said, you know, you really should you know, try to hire. Try to hire newer teachers that aren't, don't have the same experience level. Try to hire people who aren't quite as expensive. And we did, and we've had some very excellent, excellent teachers who have come in, and they have gained experience every year. They have saved the school money every single year by being flexible, by being a right-sized teacher group, by going above and beyond and, 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 and doing all the work we asked them to do, but we haven't passed collective bargaining agreements, and so they have not received compensation for their experience level. And that amounts to about, uh, what, what did I say? That, that amounts to about $58,000 of this. If you take that out of this equation, then we're saving a, then, then we're saving a ton of money. That, that is something that we have not lived up to our side of the agreement. We have not paid them what we said they were worth the last time we passed the collective bargaining agreement. I've got Denise, Dennis, Kim, and Vern. Am I next? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Um, it's one year contract. Is that what one you year contract? Okay. So um, I don't. I don't really agree with what you just said because you are paying them for their. Ex their experience because you, you you don't have a teacher that comes out of school anymore without a master's degree. Well, that is not true. We do not, not all of them have master's degrees. Well, pretty much all of them. But the teachers that left with longevity, didn't. most of them didn't have bachelor, a master's degree. So when you're hiring a teacher, even though they're not getting their years of experience, they're getting their education value. So, right? The scale goes years of experience, eight years. Yes. Then across yeah, the yeah, other yeah. end, it goes bachelor's, 45, master's. And so on. That is correct. So they're getting more because of their education. Yes, experience, but they are not getting their experience. They're not getting their, right. Experience, right. their year experience. That is exactly right. They're right. not getting their experience level, which is what the, the which is what the salary schedule says they should get. Correct. But they're they're over at the higher end of it because they have masters. Or more. Does any teacher in your grade school have, not have a masters? I believe there are a few. New ones? Do you hire without masters? I believe so. Okay. All right. But most of them do. 
So they are getting. They work for them. If they don't have them, they work for them. That's true. That's true. And yes, and I, I'm not trying to say that they don't. They don't. They, 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 that they don't get more education and get paid more for education. They get to get their they, tracks. They do not get their experience level. Their years of experience. Right. But I can't agree more with what Bill had said to you because you have to have those answers for Saturday. If you don't have those answers of the total picture of what we're going to save, if this fails, this is what it's going to cost you. If this passes, this is what you're going to save. If you don't have those numbers, I'm afraid that you're not going to have a contract. I guarantee. I mean, people need well, what, to know well, that. Well, what you're really saying is that you need that information. No, no, because, no. Well, no, because, no, because, because I don't need it. The voters need because it. on Saturday, it's whether or not you recommend. It's not. But the people are going to be listening to that, and then they're going to go to the polls. It's not. You're well, not worried well, about the twelve of us. Well, you're worried do, about but, the but do but do you hear understand? That's what I. That's what I'm trying to get a sense of. Is do you hear understand what the savings are and how we get them? We're not going to get them the first year. We're going to get them the second year. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. Um, well, you told Dennis, me that. you're in the queue. <laughs> i got to write it out, but Dennis is next. You know, you talk about Rollins, <laughs> but I've left me area that a lot of schools that yep. are still fighting for their, for their, for their collective eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. I mean, we don't know. You can't tell us where we stand as far as schools in Stratford County go, as far as our teachers' salaries. Uh, I, you know, I can. Oh, yeah. because I never thought you could. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's okay. public information. Okay. I mean, our, our, our so compared to Summersworth, uh, not Dover so much, but Stratford and Madbury or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, our, our, our teachers are, 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 are some of the top paid in the area. And it, it, as, a oh, town, as a town, we have agreed that that's what they are worth. Teachers in the area. Yep. Okay. They are. Okay. Are you going to say that, Patty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it's public information. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, no, I, I'm, I'm just, not. I'm trying. This is not, I'm this just is, saying. Listen, we're going to go to this uh, deliberation, and if the budget committee doesn't recommend this, there's more than likely it's not going to pass. Well, that, that's, that's the same as last year. I think what it was missed by one vote. It was time. Um, it, it, it's very, it's very possible. But remember, right. this, this is not about, th this is about living up to an agreement that has been made. So, the plan we have now, there will be a different plan. Okay. So, the plan we have now has that gone up year over year. It has indeed. Okay. So, you're proposing to go to a lower plan that has a lower base. Mm -hmm. Um, what guarantee do you have that's not going to go up year over year? That's my first question. Big switch. And also, the, the only static cost is the salary increase. That's going to stay there all the time. And you, so you can't guarantee that health insurance isn't going to go up year over year, but we can guarantee we're going to pay that salary year over year. It most likely it most likely will go up, but it will not go up at the same at the same rate. Um, if you get, if, if, if something, if $50,000, if you take 1% of $50,000, it's a lot different than 1% of $100,000. I mean, there are different amounts. I get that, but so, is it because you've looked at the history of that plan for the last five years? Yes, a number of people, yes, we actually have, um, the SAU is on it, Summersworth School System is on it, I mean, we have experience within within our SAU. So what is the percentage of increase for the new plan for the last five years? I, I, well, we haven't been on it for five years. No, 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 that no, 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 Yes, you, yes, otherwise you're starting here and you just keep going up. But you haven't this. saved this amount. You got plan A and you got plan B. Plan A, we'll say we're on plan A, it's gone up, say, 10% each year over the last five years. Mm -hmm. But we're looking at plan B, and that's gone up 5% over the last five years. Eventually, plan B is going to catch up. No, no, it's not. You, you just well, said 10% versus 5%. First right. of all, that's well, never going to catch up. So you can't and guarantee the differences, is what I'm can, saying. Okay, let's move. Hang on, Suzanne. You're almost there. Brian, you're next. Oh, I, I just wanted to clarify a point. Most of this raise, the 71638 is on 
years of experience. They're called steps, that is right? Okay, that's all I need. That's fifty-eight thousand dollars worth. Okay. Okay. Suzanne. Well, and then Beth. I, I, I think I'm, I'm surprised that we don't maybe agree that it's generally a good thing to have people on a lower on, on plans that cost us less money. I mean, I just think that that's a generally good thing to do. So, as Judy says, you know, you could one plan's up here, this plan's up here. I mean. It, as medical costs increase, then they'll, as medical insurance costs increase, they will both increase. As medical insurance costs decrease, if that ever happens, they'll uh -huh. both decrease. <laughs> I agree, but do you understand? I mean, there's still, um, I, I don't see that there's any question, but what it's better to have to provide our, our employees with a plan that costs the employer less, which is what the school board has tried to do. On the other side of the coin, and to have a collective bargaining unit, both sides have to come to an agreement, so there has to be a give and take between both sides. And so what the teachers have been arguing, is my, my understanding, is to at least, at the very least, and there is a little bit more, but at the very least, 58000 of it is to, to get people getting paid what the salary schedule <coughs> says they should be getting paid. Not more, just what the salary schedule says they should be getting paid for their experience level. So... I mean, I understand that the you know the math would be interesting if if, if it could be put yeah. into some figured out in that way. But still, you've got a higher plan, you've got a lower plan. We're now going to have teachers on the lower plan. So unless unless you think that higher plans are going to decrease and lower plans are going to increase, I mean, there's always going to be this potential savings. You know, where you would have paid this, but now you're only going to have to pay this. And yeah, they, both of those lines may be going up, but there's still going to be a difference in what you're paying. You know, if you, if you could lower your mortgage payment by $500 a month, wouldn't that be great? But it wouldn't, if, and, 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 and if you're on a variable mortgage and, and it just still dropped it that much, but it's going to go up in, in another year or two, you're still $500 less. I mean, it's like, I, I don't quite know how to, I don't know, I, it, it, it boggles my mind that we, that we can't, that we're not sort of all in agreement on that, that it's better to have a lower base. Bill, then we can? I, the issue, Judy, that I see, which is the same one we faced last year, is it's confusing. And if it's confusing this group here, it's going to be confusing to the voters. It, we need to clearly and concisely let them know. And that's, that's why I, I say, you know, if we can tell them, if we pass this, this is what it's going to cost. If we don't pass it, we're going to continue with the old plan that was in effect, and it's going to, I think, cost us more than what this is proposing as we go down the road. That's the argument, or that's the information that people <coughs> need to know. And that's what I, 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 I understand it, and I, I support this, because I think it is going to save us money down the road, but it's, it's, it's sort of this strange, I mean, it's hard to understand. And, and I think that's the piece that we have to get to the public. The other thing I, I want to mention is, you know, I, I understand the whole collective bargaining agreement and bringing them here and there, but a collective bargaining agreement is they agree. And if the agreement doesn't go through, that's what they live with. I mean, you know, so I, I, I just can't buy the argument that says, well, we have to do this for them. We all sat down at the table, or the negotiations took place, and that's what ended up with. So, you know, I, I don't think there's an onus on us to pass this because we need to. It was part of the collective bargaining agreement, and that's where it ended up. It didn't pass in years past, and that's the way it is because um, it's a collective bargaining agreement. Okay, Ken and then Suzanne. I think that for me, it's like seeing projections. What we can anticipate for both plans over the next few years, um, and seeing how long our savings is there for. Um, we, like I said, we know that that salary increase of seven hundred thousand that's going to follow us year over year. But we'll save this, you know, forty-seven thousand dollars in health this year, but that could be gone next year, right? Um, 
right? And we're still paying the 71. No, and, that, and, the, and that's the part that I, I would like everyone to try to understand. Um, please don't write on that. I know. I so don't. Please don't. I so don't. Yes. I need a whiteboard. And I wish I had, I wish I had a good example uh, to put it in terms that, that, that we can all understand. But it's... Um, If, if, if you're paying $100 a month for food, and you can go to uh -huh. another, and you can go to an, just for an example, okay. and you can go to another store and pay, and pay $50 to get exactly the same food, chances are you would go to the store that you could get, that you, could, that you would pay $50 for. Now, price of milk may go up. And so it will go up at each store. So that at one store, it will now cost $101 a month. And at the other one, it might cost $50.50. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it'll go up to 51 Maybe it'll take the whole thing. But it's going to take a long time for that $50 to become the $100. If, if ever. It probably never will because if the price of food is going up, it's going up everywhere. And, and that, so I, I, maybe that's not a good example, but I don't really know how to use an example to say that when you drop the floor, it doesn't immediately jump up again. It might take 20 years, it might never reach the point. Suzanne? It's not that this floor will never reach that other one. It's just that had we, if we were still on that other one, yes. it's now over yeah. here. Right. That's the point. The difference good, yeah. is you've got a plan that costs less than another plan, which is an overall good to, for all of us. So if, if we can imagine this going up, this one's not staying still, that one's going to be going up too, and probably even more so, because Cadillac plans tend to be more expensive than lower cost plans. So, and I still don't see, I'm going to try one more time, now that I have the floor. <laughs> so when I look at this, You've got a health premium savings of $47,763. Can I ask you again what that means? It means it's money we're not paying because of this lower plan? Yes. So that if we didn't and have the lower compared plan... Compared to our current plan. Understood. So that if we don't pass this, then isn't that the amount that we would be having to pay? Yes. So well, why isn't the difference then... We pass this, it's going to cost us $39,000. We don't pass this, we're going to have to add $47,000 back in our budget to cover the more expensive health plan. Yeah, and it's actually already in the budget, so yes. That's not my understanding. So is it isn't that it? That's, yeah. that's the difference. Is that what you're paying today, or is it what is expected to be paid in June? It's, it's what's expected to be paid starting in July, but, but, but again, health coverages can change. So it's based on today's health coverage for each individual. I mean, this is, these are actual figures. It's not, it's not guesswork of maybe we'll have some family plans and maybe we'll have some singles. This is 100% this is exactly what it costs to ensure the teachers today. But this proposed plan. And, and, and that's exactly how we budget for next year as well, correct. So what you're saying is that number, if the old plan, with the increases based is, is what you put in the budget. And that's what's currently in, in the budget. Those are actual Those are actuals. Those are actuals. for 2018-19. Yes. And, uh, and, I didn't know that. That was that's Yes, and, 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 that's, and, and I think that may be the bill's plan. So we know that we would save in our, current, in our 2019 budget, the, the operating budget, we know that we would save almost $48,000 right off the bat if we pass this. Is that the key? Is that, yes. the way, is that the way to put it? I think so. Okay. Because that, that <laughs> explains it to me. If this, I, I'm jumping the line here. Oops. That's okay. okay. If this passes, I think that's the important thing to know, that the town will save 48 some odd thousand dollars. The other thing I think that needs to be you know, made known here is this is part of the contract. So you, know, you can say, well, we don't like the health care thing. But we do like the contract uh, provisions, or vice versa. But to get one, you need the other, mm -hmm. and and so it has to be viewed in totality, in terms of you know saying, well, I really uh, I really don't like the, the salary increases, you know. But that's collective bargaining. You give to get, and back and forth. So 
that, again, I think is, is something that needs to be explained to the town when the time comes up that, hey, look, you know, we're going to, if, if this passes, we're going to save 49 or whatever thousand dollars. And yes, the teachers are going to get a raise. One goes without the other. If the raise doesn't go through, this is going to cost. Sorry, thank you. Can I take a turn? <laughs> sure. And then we've got Denise and um, I'm sorry. Okay. And Ed. Um, I think part of where this gets confused every year is salary increase intertwined with the health insurance, and that everybody's blinded by the salary increase and don't look at the health insurance. I think you said the perfect word, because the whole time I'm thinking about it, when I look at health insurance plans and comparing what I have versus, say, one of my children, um, you know, you have a Cadillac plan, which is like driving a Cadillac. <coughs> They're now driving Volkswagens. It's never going to be of the same substance. So if you don't ever lower that baseline, as you said, you're always paying more because you have this plan that's always going to be 10000 more, 20000 more than the base. They're all going to go up. Um, that we can probably guarantee. But you're going to have that gap. And you know, to Kim's point, yes, you close that gap the first year. So you're not going to have this substantial savings the next year. But the next year, if you took your where your baseline is and looked at where the Cadillac plan is next year, that's the savings that you are actually having because of the change in the baseline. Um, I don't know if that made any that's sense, but I felt like I, I had to say that because to say I, that. You're never, they're never going to be equivalent because of the type of coverage. If I understand you correctly, yeah, that the coverage is less. That is exactly There's a higher right. deductible. Right. You, you, no, you get the same coverage, but the higher less deductible. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. We're, yeah, we're paying less for it. They're paying less for it, but, but they have more out-of-pocket expenses. Right. Which is right. how any employer lowers their health insurance is to <coughs> give people a higher deductible. I think that's an excellent example. Thank you, Michelle. That helps. Denise, Kim, and then Ed. And the other, the other then, part of it, even though that's not part of the collective bargaining agreement, but you have to have this number because it's going to it's going to impact the entire budget. Is it's all or nothing. So you're going to have that savings, and all of the other people will have it, will have this insurance. You need to have that number to tell people on the bottom line, we're also going to reduce this by $500 or whatever it is. You know what I'm yeah. saying? If you have that, it's a, it, it just impacts it more that there's savings throughout. Okay, so I'll get that again. Exactly. Right. Okay. Um, Kim, and then Ed, and then Charles. Um, is it possible that you can predict how much you will save between the difference in the plans for next year? It's, it's difficult to tell because, again, we don't know exact coverages. Uh, coverages could change. Right. Uh, uh, so folks, same coverages? Um, it's it's hard to know because they're all projections, uh, in essence. That, that they, as a matter of fact, the the insurance companies don't tell us until November what what it's going to be for the year. So it is very difficult to do. Um, so, um, so I, I guess the point I was trying to get is 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 it diminishing returns? Is that what it's called? Where at some point, um, what we're saving. I, dis I disagree with that, and I'm go now I'm going to use Michelle's example because a Volkswagen will never be a Cadillac. It's go always going to cost more to service a Cadillac. It's always going to cost more to put high test in a Cadillac. A Volkswagen is is never going to cost as much as a Cadillac. So, I, so I, I think that's an, I, I love this example because it, I think it really I think it says is there a diminishing return on every car, whether it's a Cadillac or a Volkswagen? But, but they're not the same. <laughs> I, I'm John Q. Citizen in SB2 Rollinsford. And I'm going to be voting on the second Tuesday in March. And I'm still, I would be confused. And I got, you got a budget that's uh, got coverage in there if we don't pass the new budget. And then you got the new budget. If we, if if I if I vote for the raise, then the old budget is too high. And then you say, well, the school board gets it. We'll trust their wisdom. Now I'm also 
skeptic conservative, as some of you know, and I say I don't trust Slackman, I don't trust school board members. You give them a penny and they'll use it some other way. And so, how do I know? So I know, and I'm going to go in there if, if I was SB2, and I'm not saying I'm speaking for myself, I'm speaking for conservative John Q. citizens here. I go in and I just vote no on the school because that's one thing that, that they, they won't get it. So I, I knock out 40000 or whatever in the budget for that. And that's what a lot of people have been doing, I think, in, in past years. And uh, so I get confused when I now go in there and vote that actually what you're telling me is, as the school board chair is that I should uh, vote for the proposed raise, which is actually a reduction in the overall money that we're going to have to spend. And I'm, I'm convinced of that, but I'm not sure how you're convincing John Q. Citizen of that. And when there's two budgets here, one that's the old budget without the salary increase in, you got that budget that you put to us on the second Tuesday in March at the SB2 meeting. And so we have a warrant article for the school budget that I'm going to vote on. And then we have a separate one that's coming in about the raises. And, and so I got two decisions then to make. And how do I make them ensure that I'm not given, I, I, I buy your logic, let's say. But I, do, I say, what well, all that's really going to do though is, is give you some extra money in the school board. And I don't trust how the school board is going to do that. And so how do I assure that if I vote for what you're saying would be the logical thing for us voters to do, that I'm assured that I'm not just giving you an extra more play money to play with. Gosh, I, 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 I wish it were all our money to play with. But well, I know, but <laughs> I'm, 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 again, no, I'm speaking from the view of yeah. John Q. Yeah, I, uh, is, 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 do you have some suggestions? No, not really. I'm just saying something that we need to think about logically how, if we're going to give guidance, yeah. as, as I agree with you, we should, uh, but what guidance are we going to really give them? And, yeah. and, 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 and so we got to know, they got to know if, if I go in there and vote for the full budget and then I vote for the raise, because I think that's really going to be a reduction, uh, as, you, as you're trying to convince us it is, uh, then what's going to happen? What more money than we need to vote? Um, Suzanne, and then Dennis. Okay. You're saying that your health benefits are going to be 47000 I'm sorry? Your health benefit savings is going to be 47000 But you're going to have to spend 39000 to get it. That's correct. So it's actually only an $8,000 savings. Um, Someone. <coughs> it's actually um, not counting the raises. I'm just talking the premium savings and your total increase is only eight thousand dollars difference. All right, I'm a little confused as to what you're talking about here now. Okay, you're talking about your health premium savings at forty seven thousand. And yes. if it passes, is an increase of thirty nine thousand. So your difference basically is only eight thousand. Um, if you didn't get the raise. Yeah, it's. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, I, I don't actually. Yeah, I don't. If you didn't get the raise, it would be forty-seven thousand. Right. Say, if if, if, yeah. if 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 we didn't have to uh -huh. bargain, if we didn't have to go sit at a, at and negotiate across a table, and we if we were, for instance, a private company, mm -hmm. as many of us have worked for, and we we wouldn't have we wouldn't have to negotiate, mm -hmm. and we would say we're going to a lower health plan. And our books immediately would show a forty-eight thousand uh, dollar savings. That is correct. But we are not a private business. We are a public entity who who, who, who works who tries to work in good faith with the union. Um, okay. Suzanne and then Dennis. So I understand. I believe I understand your conundrum, the riddle that you just presented to us, and that is that the operating budget has to be built with the projections for the current. <laughs> more expensive saving uh, medical plan, right? 
Yeah. That, that will be in the operating budget, and that will get voted on first. And then this comes along, and it, so the question, I guess, is so if we vote on this, how, how does that impact? So do you now, that's what I'd say, do you now have $47,000 that you can, we've already voted on the operating budget. We've already voted on the operating budget, so there'll be a savings. Ah. That, that's a very good question. Yeah, and that, okay. I think that's the right. All right. That if, if, that's the, if, if that's the if that's if that's the question, then you're then if then you're right. So so what happens legally if both if the operating budget passes and the collective bargaining agreement passes, the operating budget gets adjusted. How? Mm. Now, but that's why what I want to know is John Q says it before I vote. Yeah. If you're gonna make an adjustment, I, I'm about far. Yes. But I want to know how you're going to do it. So I don't all find right, out. All right, all right. That that's a question I can get answered. I don't know exactly how it's done, but but you're right. We do not get to keep that extra money. I see what you're now. I get. It. I wasn't. No, that, I was that's not that, I'm always worried okay. about that extra. That, uh, I got it. That's good. That's that's good. We have Dennis. Last year we had a screwed up election. I think we moved it back. Not too much. Yeah. Uh, how many people actually? Voted. I have that, that somewhere. Article and for and against. Do you know? I know the oh. difference. I know that it lost by 27 votes. Oh. That, that I only know the difference. I don't know the total number. But I do have it written down somewhere. Okay. Uh, yeah, I didn't know. I thought it was more than that, but there wasn't nope. a lot of people. No, we collected bargaining. Well, actually, there were. It was close to 400, I think. Um, it was people who were close to 450. And, um, and, and it, it lost. It was the only warrant article that, that was defeated, and it lost by 27 votes. Mm -hmm. We've always voted the, the budget before the contract. Always. It is, al it is always, always the first that way. way. And it's so always the I first don't understand one. how it, it should be the other way. I will. Uh, I will definitely. Can. I will definitely no, find has, out. It has to be this I will way definitely like find out how it. Um, uh, it, it's an excellent question. So I will find. I will find out specifically legally how it's done. Well, I know how it is. Your operating budget that you're voting on is actuals. It's what it is today. By passing or or the contract. It will either increase it, but it won't de decrease it because it is what it. You, you don't have your increase in your operating budget for teachers. No, we don't have any salary increases. No, that is correct. And you will only do it with the contract if it passes. Correct. Which would be an increase. Which would be an increase. So you not you don't have that padding ed because the operating budget, the school budget does not contain these increases. For the, or savings. For the contract. Or savings. It or savings. It doesn't contain either one. Right. Because you gotta you gotta put the money in for the health insurance in case this doesn't pass. Correct. So you're you're not it's it it will not have a padding. But I but but I will there. I will get the exact I will get the exact process that's followed. Right, because it's increasing the overall budget. It will it, yeah. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. I have the vote count. If if anyone is interested, Dennis, you had that question. It was two hundred and eighty-one, no, and two hundred and fifty-four, yes. So twenty some odd votes. Twenty-seven. 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 Twenty-seven
I, I think about going to the, the, the uh, you know, the town and presenting this, and they don't get the benefit of all the back and forth that we've had in these discussions. For them to clearly understand it, I think, you know, and I'm not, you know, disparaging anybody not here, but I, it, it's, it's a lot of stuff. No, and I, I'm hoping that when so, it comes time to present, you know, certainly on Saturday, that that people will jump in and help help explain as we go along. Right. If it sounds like I may not get, I didn't get some of the uh, questions and comments here tonight, so. It's very helpful. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm just taking the teachers as a, as a, instead of the total insurance. So it's $239,000. Regular, regular education. Mm -hmm. And so you're saving, let's say, $40,000 from that. So that would mean that would be $200,000 in next year's budget. But this. Correct. So, but it still will be the increase of thirty-nine thousand because of the salaries. So that kind of tells you that it, instead of two hundred and thirty-nine, it's going to be two hundred thousand, and next year it's going to be two hundred and whatever thousand for the for the regular education. I would go that far down into the weeds. Uh, so I'm just going to try one other craft to try to. To um, kind of respond, Kim, to the diminution of, of you know that you're worried about across the years. I mean, I, I think it once we get out into whatever we call it, a Volkswagen group, a Volkswagen plan, as opposed to we'll just call it a Cadillac plan. Five years from now, I can guarantee you the Volkswagen plan is going to be less than the Cadillac plan. What we can't predict is how much less, but for sure. You know, if you say in general, you know, things are going to go up at roughly the same thing, there could be some, you know, you know, I can imagine that, that there's a time where some type of plan goes up more than another type of plan, but generally speaking, you know, they're going to all follow this kind of sweep. And so there will always be a substantial difference in what we will be paying versus what we would, would be paying if we kept that higher plan. No, it's not, it's not theoretical, right? I mean, if you've got, if you're always buying uh, cream, if you're always buying heavy cream as opposed to skim milk, you're always going to be paying more than skim milk because it's the nature of heavy cream versus skim milk. Oh, I know. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Right? So, <laughs> That's it. I see, I see, I see okay. the point here. But what is the guarantee that every contract, every negotiation is going to stay with that insurance. Well, I will tell you, I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll defer to Denise to find out when was the last time we actually changed a plan. I don't, I think it's been <coughs> over a decade, if not two. So There's no guarantees in any case. Right. No, but I'm saying, you know, that, right, so the first year we get this benefit, I think that's what Kim's saying, we can't guarantee Well, let's, but well, you know, even if we can't guarantee it, even if we think it won't last more than two or three years, it's worth it as long as we go to the second or third year. It is worth it if we get to the second or third year, and we will. Mm -hmm. and, well, just kind of contextually. If we look at the relationship between employers and employees and their benefits packages, benefits packages are not increasing. So the likelihood of a school board going back to a Cadillac plan once they've done the hard work of getting us down to this plan, I think it's really, I just don't think it goes, I don't think it goes back. You know, it, it's not going to go, you know, I feel convinced it's not going to go back. <clears throat> You're right. Yeah, and, I, and I also feel convinced, that I, and one of the reasons I'm convinced is that working with the union, the union was very helpful in helping their membership understand how important it is for them to be able to provide this give back to, to the employers. Um, and, and how, and especially if they're not going to be disadvantaged with out of pocket costs. And so that was the union's sort of base thing. As long as we're not completely disadvantaged with out-of-pocket costs, we, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll work with you to reduce your health care costs. And that, that, to me, is really says a lot. Any other comments? Um, no more analogies. 
<laughs> All right, so if, if we're done with that, I think the other thing is, I, I don't know if you noticed, but um, <coughs> the only other money warrant is the um, uh, the roof uh, on the annex and the and the uh, kindergarten for $93,000. It's a warrant, Article 4, $93,000. That is, that is the one um, estimate we have on hand. So that's what we want with for the warrant. Do I have a question? I'm sorry. Uh, you didn't talk about uh, that's in the operating budget. That's the operating yep. budget. Interest on it. What's your uh, whatever it is in the uh I didn't know. Okay. How much are you going to get that in there? Uh, what, four or five percent a year? I'm sorry? What is she be getting? Four or five percent a year? Five, three million. She she's getting two percent this year, this oh. coming year? Is is what is what we've recommended, correct? Okay. Is there any money um in the um um funds? that are going to offset this 93, or is it strictly coming by a tax The reason we, no, we are not, as a matter of fact, um, if you go further down, you will see that we're, we are not putting any money into a special, into the special education uh, reserve fund. We are trying, and we're trying to up the amount of money we put into our building fund because we have some big ticket items coming down the line. Um, uh, the boiler, it is touchy. It was supposed to be replaced according to the IDEA study quite some time ago. It was supposed to be replaced. Our facilities manager is keeping it running over the very cold holiday time off. Um, it, uh, one, of the, um, one of the pumps broke. Because we have a facility manager who is on top of things, he came in, diagnosed it, ordered the parts, fixed it himself, and got it running again hours before school started on Tuesday. It was still, still pretty cold in a lot of places in the school, but he got her up and running. That was amazing. If the principal had had to do that herself, she said, I would have had to call an expert. I would have had to do whatever they said, paid whatever amount of money they said to have it working. So that was, that was really an amazing thing. But anyway, we have, we have boiler replacement coming down the line. Um, and that's, I, in the IDEA study, that's a $400,000 job. So we're trying, so we're not using so that's a long explanation for why we're not trying. We have about, a, I think, 150. I can tell you, but mm -hmm. another time you know, we But um, we're trying to up that. We're trying to push that amount okay. as high as we can. And, and we're, oh, go ahead. I was just going to ask, uh, what is the status of the roof? How bad is it? 155. How bad is it? Well, in the, in the IBEA, the a study, it was uh, the annex roof was due to re be replaced in 2012. The kindergarten roof this year, in 2018, is a flat roof. And the uh, while it's not leaking now, the downside is that when it does leak, it's going to be really bad. We're going to lose. We, we would not be able to hold school. And so the idea was to just keep 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 up with it as. You know, we're, we're, uh, we'll be seven years behind the recommended replacement of it on the annex. We do save, um, we save a little bit by doing it all at once, kindergarten and especially that the seam between it is done at the same, you, you can do everything at one time, not have to put the, <coughs> the seam between it as a separate job. Uh, and the other warrants, uh, so, so it's adding money that where we're not raising money. The other is we want to open a new uh, regular education tuition fund so that we, as you know, we put contingency students in our Marshwood part of the budget because of that first year when we had got 15 students that we weren't accounted, accounted for. So we put in, I believe, two to three contingency students. If we pull, if we, we'd like to get that out of the operating budget in the following year and simply open another um, a, a, a sort of a tuition fund, not a lot, it, you know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars, so we can cover a couple of students, two or three students, the same way we have, to, and get contingency students out of the operating budget. We're not going to fund it this year. We're just going to reward it. How would money be withdrawn from that, though? Uh, in this case, it's being set up that the school board can do it themselves without having to go to the town to get it. You already. Uh, there already are a couple of different funds that the school already has? Yes, there are two. Okay. Two, two different funds with the same? Um, no, the those we would yeah. have to go to the town by warrant and say, <coughs> for instance, so, so let's say we have 
it's time to replace uh, the boiler. We would say we would like to, uh, uh, there'd be a warrant saying we would like to remove, we would like to use $200,000 from our building fund and we need to also raise an additional $200,000 uh, kind of thing. So it, it, the same way you have to do in the town, if you want to take money out of a, some of your special funds. <coughs> It's a two-step process. We can't just we can't just say let's take the money and spend it on something. So why I think I see why uh, a reserve fund like that is a good idea is that without it, so you would be I don't know what you currently have built in as a contingency, but let's say it. it I think I it's three students. I think it's like thirty thousand dollars. All right. So 30, let's 20. say thirty thousand dollars. So so that's built into the budget every year. Right. And so we're we're raising and appropriating, raising and appropriating it every year. Let's and we say, may not, let's say that we had this reserve fund, and let's just say it already had the thirty thousand in it, which I suspect is going to take a while to build it up. But if you had thirty thousand in it, then you're then you're not raising and appropriating thirty thousand dollars if you haven't used it. Correct. And if you don't use it again for a second year, you're still not raising and appropriating right. that thirty thousand right. dollars. Whereas you be doing it otherwise. It's a better deal for the town, and in, in, in essence, we're not raising it every year, and then and then having it. Um, to either give back to the town or, or to held in reserve for us for an extra year before we give it back to the town. Yeah. I'm sorry, can I just yeah. clarify what you just said? So it's not sitting there year to year? You, you would turn it back no. at the end of no, the no, year? No, no, no. Okay. If, if we have this, it would sit there year to year, but okay. we wouldn't raise it each year. Right. This year we okay. raise it each year. Right. Yeah. Yep. Correct. Their number. Yeah. By three or whatever. And I think what, I mean, if you pad your number by three now, that money's in your general fund. Correct. Right? That is budget. correct. And that and that's not a good place. For and that's yeah. not a good. Right. And that's exactly. not a good place Whereas for. Here it would not. Okay. That's not a good place for extra money to be. When, when you're creating this fund, I know you're only saying for a dollar, but is this fund going to be um, funded if you have extra money at the end of the year? Yeah, that's our Like plan. your special education that's fund was. Is it, do you yes. have um, Do you have power to? from your special education fund? We do not. We have to go well, not only to the town, we also have to go to the State, state. Board of Education. Okay. Yep. Oh. Well, you wouldn't have to with your tuition one? We would not because of the way we're setting it up. Can you re can you change the other one to be that way as well? That's an interesting question and it would have to be by warrant if we did. Because it's right. the town that gives us permission to do that. Right, right. You wouldn't have to go to the department head for See, that's the thing. I'm not sure. I think we, I think we, that, I don't know. That's a research that would have to yeah. be done. Okay. I think we, I think I've taken up a great deal of time here. It's, it's been, it's been, um, it's been illuminating. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Judy. So, Itself. And um, I, we've got to sit down and talk to the state because we're sending out uh, letters, and I don't think we should be for one or two houses out of how many residents in town that have water. Because a lot of it is generated in the house itself because they have old piping, and um, it's, it's not fair to the water. Also works in Summersworth. He works for the city of Summersworth, and, and I, I don't think it's fair, you know, that we should all be penalized for this. And if, I, if if we have to, we'll bring in a company and run and run the water district, and your rates are going to double. I'll tell you right now, we're doing everything we can to get that. Well, I drink the water, and I, I can't see why they they penalize. Everything so, wait, 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 wait. The, the cost is the letters. You can get an actual penalty or fine, do you? No, no, no. The cost oh. is for mailing. Yes. Okay. No, no, we didn't get no fines. No, that's just wanting people that you, you know, it's like the arsenic. Okay. Remember the arsenic? Oh, yeah. But to, to clarify that, so are you saying it's not coming? The, I got the letter. Right. I'm on the water. Yeah, but you didn't get penalized. 
I mean, you didn't, your house doesn't have lead in it, copper. There's only, out of 24 test sites, there's two. But I don't know that I understood that looking at it, so I, I'm no, wondering. No, out of 24, there's, I think there's one on Cable Street. I'm not sure where it is. But I guess the question is, is the lead coming from inside the house? And you know so. I do. So yes, know. it's coming from inside the house. Because the water comes inside the house. You don't know that it's based on the house versus the, the lines that it's going to. You don't know that for sure. They, they, you would be sending the letter. Like two sites that have lead pop or whatever. Two? Two wells, sites out of or, 24. So you, when you say a site, why don't you And it's explain? the same sites all the time. Okay, all right. So days. explain, Dennis, explain what a site oh. means. Is mm. it that little it's thing in my front site. yard? Yes. Because I think I'm a site. Yeah, it's probably okay. a... So you go and you pull the water from specific yep. places all over town, mm -hmm. rather than from sites. Yeah. okay. And so you're finding it in two homes. Two of the same in homes. In front of two homes. There's one on Silver Street. I think it's Julie Garden. And then I can't remember the other. And so the state must have a level that you get I don't know at what some the threshold. I don't they know make what you send the letter. Is, you know? I don't know. I don't know what they do in some. No, 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 I mean as far as the letter. Yeah, yeah, as soon as we get that, the, the letter goes out. Yeah. So whether you have one site or 24, the same letter? Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha, thanks, Well, I was just gonna say, well, I clearly appreciate the difficulty of being part of a governing body and having to deal with this issue. I'm not sure it's a budgetary issue, so I would suggest that those of us on the water district you know, go to a, a monthly. I, you know what I'd like to do is give it to the town. No. Then you can take care of it. <laughs> Okay. No, but I'm just, all I'm saying, Dennis, I, I mean, you know, I, I appreciate, you know, I, I, it's a good public service, but, but really, town, you know, the water district people, you know, you have monthly meetings, so they can oh, come yeah, see you and, and talk to you about that. If there are no budgetary implications, other than you're saying that if we don't do it ourselves, it's going to cost us twice as much. Cost a lot of money, yeah. You know, it's not, there's, just, not a, there's nothing for just, us to do as a budget committee. It's just frustrating. I, I've been I in the water. Share your frustration. Since 94. You know? Kenneth? I get Denise and then Ed, please. Okay, I, I just want to make sure that we're not missing something. Don't we have to make a recommendation to take public hearing for this for this board? Mm -hmm. Isn't isn't this what we we're here tonight for? No, and we didn't no. do it, right? We didn't even talk about the operating budget. Right. All right. Okay. Well, we'll we'll that. Yeah. Yeah. We have. Yeah. Do we okay. go back to the school? No. Well, yeah. Well, I said, all right, hold on. So first, I think I did ask if there were any more comments on the school, and there didn't seem to be any noise about that. So if there's more discussion, that should have come up when I asked. As far as the voting fees, um, so, and I'm going to ask for help on this. So you're saying we're voting to bring it to the public hearing. Right, right. We're not is, voting. We're voting to bring... Not recommending or yeah, it's not a recommendation. It's voting it, bring it forward to the public hearing. Now, if there was a, if there was someone who wanted to drastically reduce it or, or increase it, you could do that tonight too. Then it is a normal process. The normal process is bring it to public hearing, and and then after public hearing, we make our and recommendation you, to bring to right. the right. okay. uh, preliminary vote. Right. I do think we need to make a vote whether or not we're voting to bring it forward. Or not. And this is where I get confused every year because if the vote were no, <coughs> what happens? It has to go forward. Just from guessing. So <coughs> that's why, I'm sorry, but that's why I missed it because I get confused every year on why. It is confusing. But, but legally we need a vote. I, I think we do. So you haven't talked about the operating budget. Um, Dennis, you pointed right to the operating budget. Um, well, we, did a couple, we did a couple weeks ago. I know, but... And again, I did say, are there any other comments? And there was dead silence, and we moved on. So if the, the committee wants to go back and talk about operating budget, that's fine with me. Did I get through my budget now? Well, now we're I mean, what the hell? Yeah. I mean, I'm not I'm going to forget everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. All right. Madam Chair, can I make a motion that we bring the water and sewer budget forward? And we'll have to do it on <coughs> February 10th, the same as the town. Yeah. Does anyone second that motion? Second. Okay. Now, 
All those in favor? Thank you, Mark. Aye. 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 Opposed? No, I'm, I'm not opposed. I have a question. I think that whenever this goes to the discussion, I would have a question, since I got this better like other people about the land, and I don't think it really pertains to me personally, but my question is, collectively, how many feet of lead pipe does the public water district still utilize here in town? We don't have lead pipes. Okay, way. that's my first question. That's great. Yeah. So, we have how, many, pipes. how many houses are still served by lead pipe that could be in danger? When I get this letter, it tells me the whole town's in danger, but you really say, no, that's not I, true. I, you know what? I can't answer that because uh, there's a lot of old houses and they have galvanized pipe going in. That is, that is something that the budget committee can't. I can't, no, I can't answer that. I don't but the budget, the, the, the store district, yeah, over the next year or whenever you do your studies, mm -hmm. can come up with that information so that you can inform me as a questioning voter again at water district meetings. I'd like to know, you know what nature the problem <laughs> is. Is it, It's actually only 20 houses that have this I, problem. Is there 150 or... Well, how many problems is this? Yeah, I, I, this is I, can't, I can't answer that because uh, we're going into an asset management uh, program. program. And we're going to, all this information is going to go into that. If we can keep a superintendent for a year. Okay. All right? So you're going to be working on it. So we're working on this. Yeah, we're, okay. we're, we're, we're That's working what I want. We're on it. We're going to a massive, uh, yes. Good. If we can keep the superintendent. Is the pleasure of the committee to go back to the school budget and talk about the operating budget prior to voting about taking it forward till set to Saturday? I'm asking. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. No, I, well, I, just, I just want to make the point that we never really talked about the operating budget. And I will make the point again that it did ask the committee. So if you, okay, <coughs> I got that. But if you have questions, let's take care of it now yes. so that we can move forward. I just have actually have one question. How much money is in the building improvement fund and how much have you spent this year? We spent nothing from the building improvement fund. Um, and I don't think I have that with me. It's about it would be in that red book right there. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. I, it, it, it's about 170 <laughs> maybe. Yes. Well, it's it, it, well. It, we thought it was an emergency fund. We've since learned that it can be a building. It can be used like a building fund, like a CIP fund, which is how now we want to start putting more into it and building it up so we can save money for big projects. All right. Why would you not do the roof out of that? Exactly. Well, she just she answered that. Because already. we have some very large things that are due within a year or two coming down the down the pipe. The boiler replacement, four hundred thousand dollars, and other things. That's why. We feel, we feel that it's more prudent um, to to build that up so we can so we can use use it in another year or two. Okay. That's all I have. Make a motion that we bring the budget for the school forward for public hearing this Saturday. Second. I would like to include that it also contains a the uh, agreement. They're it's going to be, it's going to be all money articles. Well, it's two separate things though. The budget, oh, right. the operating budget, and the contract. Oh, I said total budget. Oh, I'm sorry. sorry. I thought you said operating budget. budget. Total budget. Can you repeat your motion? I make a motion that we bring the entire budget forward this Saturday at the public hearing. And then we second that. Okay, but my comment is that contract is not in the budget. So entire doesn't contain the contract. That's my I can, point. If, if I may make a suggestion, if I may make a suggestion that all, all, all money warrants that the budget committee can, can recommend or not recommend will should be brought forward. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. As amended. I think we've got it. <laughs> yes. We have a second? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I, I have I presented. I have nothing. Nothing. Hey, I have nothing new in the horizon. Can I have a motion? Okay. 
Now, please bear with me because this is going to sound a little odd, but here's what I want to do. I want to make a motion to remove $250,000 from the town's operating budget, although we usually do this during the hearing, the deliberation after the hearing. I want to do it tonight. I, as the maker of the motion, I, I want to explain. Okay, I think we've talked enough about how we're kind of, un some of us are kind of uncomfortable about having this $250,000 in the operating budget. Now, if we had waited till February 10th, which is the town's public hearing, and taken it out then for the deliberation after the public hearing, there would be no time to put it back in as a warrant article. So this becomes a timing problem, which means we have to do it tonight, because the last day to put in a warrant article by petition is February 6th, four days before the hearing. Now, I have prepared a warrant article format for that purpose which says, although we may not want it in the operating budget, we definitely do want to repair and maintain the roads. But we want it as a warrant article. So. Who is we? So this well, is me and some abstract okay. group of people. And otherwise, you know, they can say, oh, Vern, you're full of crap. <clears throat> but I figure that's the best way to handle it because I don't want this to happen on February 10th and then tie the selectmen's hands so they can't get it back in without starting another hearing, bring another proposal forward. This is the neatest, easiest way to make sure $250,000 will be spent. There, I'm done. Uh, excuse me. I, I'm not sure that a can a petition warrant article have an appropriated expense mm -hmm. associated with it? Yep. Mm -hmm. If you look at petition warrant articles, not just about anything, they can do weird stuff like established. Um, let's see. It just says 25 or more voters, in no case, to include an article in the warrant. That's all. Yeah, but they're, they're specific. <coughs> they're warrants. Warrants that appropriate money can only be presented by other than the operating budget, because the budget committee manages the operating budget. But otherwise, my understanding, and I can check it out with the Municipal Association, is that warrants that appropriate dollars can only be submitted by the select board. And I disagree. Well, I'll check with the Municipal Association. But I, 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 I just don't think that that's so. <clears throat> I, I guess, Vern, what I understand is you want to cut to 40 $250,000. And I, I get that, but the, the second part of that, and then move it into a warrant article, I don't know that that's, that's our... That's not part of the motion. Okay. So so basically your motion is just to cut it. Correct. Okay. Out of the operating Out of budget. the operating budget. Got it. Okay. Uh, I just want, what happens if it stays in the operating budget? Can we use it? Uh, it's supposed to be for roads. Am I correct? But if something else comes up, they could probably grab that. Is that how that works? I don't know. Well, Can you sure. grab anything out of an operating absolutely. budget? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Any budget. Any, any budget. budget. However, Dennis, okay. I mean, Can one I of our biggest obligations this? is to manage the roads. Yeah. So, we, so, no, I agree with yeah. that. Excuse me, too many conversations. I'm oh, oh, sorry. No, you can uh, certainly uh, uh, moving Dallas? it into capital, you can do that. Okay. But just cutting it out, I don't know. Guys. You see, should just switch it over. Trying to get some experience. Yeah, I know, but, but Dennis was trying to speak, and yeah. Suzanne was trying to respond, and nobody could hear either conversation. So could we go? Could we go back to Dennis? I, I, I mean, I missed everything. So. No, I had just asked if, if the uh, two hundred twenty-five thousand or fifty thousand stays in the, if they can take that out and use it for something else, uh, pay you know other than roads. Yeah, and she can. responded saying yeah, yes. Yeah, can. Sure. So, okay. Yeah, well, that's what he's. I, I, I'm not sure what his intent. You, it's, I don't see, let him speak for himself. But uh, if it's in the operating budget, as I understand it, and thing rules can change since I've been there. But the slotman 
right now, this budget belongs to the people of the town of Rollinsburg, and we are here collectively representing them. But it's, it's the budget committee and the town meeting that's going to determine what budget the selectmen have and what they can. Once we give them a town meeting uh, authorization to spend that, they can use that for anything they want in their best wisdom as the year goes along. So they could not use any of this, and they and they have the boiler busted and, and, and what they're building or whatever they did, and they say that's a higher priority. They could go ahead immediately and, and fix the boiler and stuff. And and what Vernon does is takes and says, well, you've got two hundred and twenty-five thousand or fifty or whatever it is for the roads, but but you can only spend on the roads. You can't fix the boiler in the town hall with it and so forth. That's 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 the only thing I can see his intent is. I I, I did hear and discuss it briefly with him, but I did not really go into detail. I just said, yeah, the selectman once they get that approved, didn't do whatever they damn well please, as far as I understand. Just, uh, I just want to say, is that what Calvin Spencer said? He said you had a slush fund. No, he blamed me for stuff like that. <laughs> well, that, that was, uh, well, what's uh, Trump's name for a funny budget? Uh, but no, uh, I didn't have that, but well, he we said. all know he did. And then Judy. So, I mean, what the saying is correct. What Dennis is saying is correct. We do have a plan. We have a 10 year growth plan. And we have been open and we'll be open with the town about what we're going to spend and whatever it is in the operating budget I don't have it in front of me it's to do all of Heritage Moses car and whatever um, we can of, of um, the woodlands or all of the woodlands and whatever we can of Heritage Moses car and then the year after the plan is to complete whichever one didn't get completed and then go on with the 10 year road plan so we are as you know, I mean, I, I, I'm a, I feel strongly about planning. I'm a planner. We've started this 10-year road plan. It had a bump in the road this year because two things. We lost a road agent, and the software was under uh, reconstruction or a new version. But it, So we didn't actually update it, but it stays the same. It's the same plan as it was, and so the next things on the plan are Robert's Farm, Moses Carr, and Heritage, and the Woodlands. Those are the two things. So to, to, to imagine that the select board would choose, I don't know, to gild the chandeliers and the ballroom as opposed to doing the roads, I, don't just, I just don't see it happening. I mean, you know, we are, hold the bums accountable. You know, if the select board doesn't do what you, the town thinks it's supposed to do, then hold the bums accountable and vote them out of office. I mean, this is, you know, roads are our primary one of the primary things that we do. What we're trying to do is get all the money in one place so that we're not thinking, well, there's this and there's that and there's this piece here and that piece there. It just seems more rational for me as a budget analyst and somebody who works with this to have it all in one place. And as you're studying it across the years, you don't have to be saying, oh, well, do we have a, a Warren article too that did that? It's, it's kind of all in one place for us to look at and to manage. That's the rationale that we've used and why I think it's better for us to just have it in the operating budget as a maintenance, road maintenance line. Judy? Yeah, I just wanted to point out that uh, a lot of the school budget, a lot of the town budget, operating budget, it is actually has within it contractual obligations. And yes, the school board or the select board can say, well, I'm just not going to meet our contractual obligations. I'm going to use this money to uh, to fix the boiler or do something else instead because, again, th they have the authority to do that. But, but I certainly don't expect anyone to do that. And if someone does, as Suzanne said, hold the bums accountable. I mean, that's, the th that's why this group, I think, exists, is to make sure that they're following the operating budget that they laid forth, to make sure the school is following it, and, 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 and to try to, if this is something that's going to work best for the people who are, who are responsible for the budget, 
I think it's important to, to, let the pet, to take away any extra work they have to do to see where all the money is, and for this group to hold them accountable. I, I don't think we're, we're, we're suggesting that Suzanne is going to kill the chandeliers. I want to know where that chandelier is. What we're trying to say, I'm trying to say, or I believe is, this is a capital item, and it's a rather substantial capital item, and it should stand on its own as a warrant article and not be hidden in, well, not hidden, but it's not hidden, but it's included in a lot of pages of numbers that are, people are going to find confusing. I think it will pass on its own merits as a warrant article. And I don't see any reason why it can't be a Warren article, and why it ever should have been in the operating budget to begin with. Um, Ed, then Charlie, then Kim. Well, I think the one general issue, and again, is an old timer. In the old days, we had a limitation. I don't know if it was five thousand dollars or something. If it was more than that, we had to put it in the capital budget. And if it was less, we could, we could. Uh, put it into operating budget or sometimes even a couple thousand could be put in capital. The question is, what is the state statute now? That's that's what I always come back to as a, a slackman, that all the budget committee members need to know here, uh, as Vern is saying, uh, he thinks it ought to be a capital. Well, that's his thought, and maybe he's right, maybe he's wrong. To, uh, and think something else, they may be right, they may because the, the laws keep changing in the state of New Hampshire. So what I worked under 10 years ago doesn't necessarily uh, apply anymore because the state laws may have changed or may not have. But what right now is the law for, what, is a, what has to be a capital item in the state of New Hampshire in terms of operating budgets that are uh, dealt with by budget committees. I, d I don't know at this moment because I've been out for three years and they have made changed things since I was here. But that's my question is that the selectman or budget committee chair or somebody should bring that back and be able again to explain to all the people in town what authority does this committee really have uh, as a budget committee uh, separate from the control that selectman or school board members or water department chairs have. And then Dennis. Um, Charlie, can you, do you want to give up your spot for a second? Because I think, Ron, have you found something? I, I have. And all it, well, I have two things out of the law I can speak to. First of all is, what is a capital item? Well, the capital item has to be called a capital item. That's all the law asks you to do. But the other part says special warrant article means any article in the warrant for an annual or special meeting, it's an annual meeting, which proposes an appropriation, costs money, by the meeting and which is submitted by petition. So it can be done by petition according to the law. But there's no dollar figure, which is what I think. Oh, it's appropriation. No, there's no special. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. no. And that was Ed's question. Just said these are capital items. Okay. Charlie? <coughs> My question is we did it two or three years ago with Bear Road. We put a warrant in, article in. What's the difference between this one and Bear Road? We did it last year. Suzanne, do you want to answer that? Yeah. It, it, the, the difference is, is, as I've been saying all along, I would. I would prefer to see it in the make. It's a maintenance item that ha we happen every year. Every year we're going to have to spend a lot of money to maintain our roads. It's not going to necessarily be a bare road. It could be a collection of roads. And for example, if we take the two hundred fifty thousand out, what we're planning on doing is is spending more than two hundred fifty thousand. So it's like again, we'll have some of them in the warrant article, some of them coming from the maintenance budget in the in the it, it you know. Because the job is going to be more than $250,000. The job is going to be closer to $300,000 and probably three hundred and ten. dollars I don't know exactly. But that's the amount of money that we're intending on, on spending on either Robert's Farm or the Woodlands and some combination of the two of them. I don't think we can finish both of them. I know we can't finish both of them. So, you know, 
it is, I see it as a recurring amount that we're going to have in our budget every year, is for road maintenance. And it's not always going to be a bare road that you can identify. It's, we'll know what we're going to be doing, but it could be a collection of roads. It could be five or six, and it could be uh, reclaiming part of this one, and it could be just uh, shimming or overlaying that one, and it could be ditch digging here. It's a combination of things. And so, it, it, to me, it's just better, more logical, a better budget tool to have it in one place. We'll have the road plan that says what the how that budget has been built to to add up to the either the three hundred twenty five thousand or whatever it is. That's that's the rationale. Okay, Pam, Dennis, and then Brian. So uh, um, as I look at our last year's budget, I see in the highway department <clears throat> we overspent um, a couple of line items by I don't know three thousand dollars. How do we guarantee that if we give that money to that highway department that it's going to be for roads that you're not going to use it for equipment, for example, and buying a new fridge, for example. How do we guarantee that other than through a warrant officer? Accountability. I, I mean, it, 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 the, the, the overage in the equipment budget was for snow plow equipment. I mean, it wasn't, again, it wasn't for some discretionary, some piece of discretionary equipment that we weren't planning on doing. It was emergency expenditures in order to manage snowplow equipment, the plows that were that were breaking. So, you know, we're going to have hopefully uh, a contract in place before town meeting that will say what we're going to be doing with this, and it's going to be more than two hundred fifty thousand dollars. I don't know exactly what it's going to say, but it's going to be more than two hundred fifty thousand. So, it will be dependent upon you know the operating budget passing. You know, there are always those kinds of outs when you, when you write those contracts. But that's what we're hoping to do, to, so we can get, again, a head start with, with paving contractors and get them at the beginning of the season. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, I, you know, I'm, I'm just, I don't want to keep repeating myself. It's just the board has no intention of spending it for other than roads. You know, if you, whatever amount you take out is probably not going to cover all that we're going to do on that, whatever the contract is. So some of it will be the warrant, and some of it will come out of the uh, maintenance contract, which is what maintenance law, which is what happened this year. And so if you're trying to assemble and compile figures, it's just it, it doesn't give a really clear picture. And we have to have we have to have at least a hundred thousand in that the operating budget because one hundred eight thousand to be exact because that's the amount that the state will, has given us that we have to guarantee is we're spending on road <laughs> maintenance. So that's the block grant total that we have this year, $108,000, $109,000. Um, Mr. Dennis. Yes, we, we, we can't risk, we have, to, we have to show that we're, so the block grant money that we get from the state is not supposed to be for the general fund, right? It's supposed to be for roads. So, so we, need, you know, we need to be able to have that in the operating budget to make sure that you know, it, it gets voted on and approved and all that sort of thing so that we can say, yep, yeah, this is the, the 110000 that, that you gave us and we're spending it on, on road maintenance. you get that 110000 operating budget passes and the sworn article passes? No. Yes. Okay. So it isn't, um, it isn't contingent on the money being, operating budget, it's contingent on the money being voted on. It's contingent on the money being voted on, yes, yeah. being approved. So, right. So if the warrant article passes and the operating budget passes, we're, we're all good. set to block grant. Yes. Nancy? Okay. No, that's what I was going to ask. Okay. Bill, and then Judy, and then Ed. I, I really see this as more of a philosophical difference in where we put the money. I mean, I don't hear a whole lot of people saying we don't need to do this, we do need to do it, it's where we put the money. Personally, I, I believe it is a maintenance item. It's not, you know, I know the definition of capital might be above X amount of dollars, but these are recurring costs for our roads. It's not a new road we're building, which I, I would agree would be a capital expenditure for a new road. These are expenditures for roads, and to me, I. 
I'd rather see it in the operating budget to be used as a, you know, for those items. And as Suzanne said, if the select board isn't doing the job, I'll take up. That's that's my solution. So um, that's where that's where I think I believe it belongs in the operating budget. Judy added master. Uh, uh, saying hey, out the door, I know one select one was around for many years and it was hard to, for one reason or another, to get rid of them. So I don't know that you want to say that you get rid of select one easily, but that's bad. That's the uh, the, the the issue here on the surplus money, we used to, years ago, had uh, surplus uh, road maintenance, and, and we put in that item. That was in the operating budget. We put in there whatever the state was giving us that year. So we had a hundred thousand for state surplus. We put that in as operating budget, and then we had other capital items that we wanted to do uh, uh, heritage lane or so forth, which need to, uh, since I'm a property owner, uh, uh, you know, a couple hundred thousand, which went in as a capital item. The only real rationale here is the conservatives want to put more items in because you controlled more. You could vote down one thing and not another thing, or if you, you, you wanted to do Heritage Road this year and, and not do Moses' car or something else, you, you could differentiate which showed your highest priority, vote for one and vote against the other. But when you put it all in the operating budget, you have no control over what they do to the road. So, that's the only rationale I can see for having it as items is if you, you want the board to have a control or whether you want the selectman. And, and you, as a selectman, you'd say, well, a selectman no more buys it than, than individual voters, so they should give this power to the selectman. Others say, well, they're spendthrifts, and we want to give them control to the people. So that is, it's a philosophical thing, like Democrats and Republicans, as I see it. Do you want to respond? Yes, yeah, so do I, I neither of those, by the way. But the, the, so our war articles, at least as they've written recently, have not specifically said which road. They've just said for road maintenance or road whatever. Mm -hmm. And so as we've talked about it in the group, we have said what we plan to do, just as we would with the money in the operating budget. It would be no different. So it's not like we had a warrant article for Bear Road and a warrant article for, I don't know, Moses Carr, and you could vote yes for one and no for the other. Mm -hmm. It's been a warrant article for Road, blah, blah, blah. Judy, Nancy, and then. Yeah, I think I, I just want to uh, sort of piggyback on, on what Phil said, that this does seem to be just a, a, a philosophical difference that, that we're taking a lot of time with when we all agree that the money is a reasonable amount to spend on, on annual road maintenance. And the people who will be managing that money and managing the road maintenance believe that it would be easier for them to manage if it was in one place than in another. And I don't know why then we are questioning that, because these are the people who are going to manage it one way or another. And so my philosophy is to go with the people who have done the work, done the planning, done a 10-year plan, done all that work, and if they feel it's easier to manage money than it's here, rather than it's in this pot, rather than in this pot, it's in one pot rather than in two pots, then I, I, I would support the people who are going to be doing the actual work. Um, Nancy. Okay. Um, <coughs> I, I really think it's a capital item <coughs> myself. I think the $250,000 is a capital item. It's not, it's, it lasts more than a year, more than five years. And um, my other question is, you're on the 200, the 325,000 you have in here, you're going to get an additional 108? Is that what you're? No, no, it's offset by 100. Is in, it's, okay. it's offset, right? It's, a, it's part of the revenue that offsets what actually we get taxed on. Okay. The tax so it still stays at the 325 for road maintenance, and that 108,000 does not. The 108,000 was on the revenue side, or 109. But right. does it still get added to 325? It, it, it offsets. No, it offsets it. it, it offsets it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I, I just wanted to say one. If, this is not a philosophical issue. This is a really sort of a political one, and that is, if paving and maintaining roads is important, it should be right out there out front. And I think you're not going to have any difficulty passing this as a warrant article, because if, for example, if it votes yes, remove it from the operating budget, we could then start circulating this warrant article here. And when you've got 10, 12 people signing it, that pretty much says we recommend it pretty strongly. And it's a political thing, really, not philosophical. I, I would really like us to call the question, but asking us to do two things that we are not, this group is not, I, I hope is not going to vote on starting a petition warrant article. I hope that's not. No, 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 no. If we vote to remove this money, though, we have to count on somebody starting a petition warrant article. And I, I, do, I, I, believe this, I, I believe that this is not the right place to be making this decision right now. I am. Um, so, I, I, so, so then, the, you know, the, the current board um, is very determined to spend money on um, the roads because it's now getting heavy. What guarantee do we have two, three, four years from now? Are you going to be a selectman still? No. Nope. Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, <she's laughs> so, we have no guarantees. When you know what guarantees are, well, there's so let me try to, I want to try to answer this. So, <laughs> so what, one of the things that we're trying to do is get a process of planning. Okay, so get, get the board used to planning certain things, get the budget committee used to seeing what our plans are, getting the uh, public used to seeing what the plans are. And so, you know, one of the things that the budget committee can ensure is that that 10-year road plan is, is kept up. And you can ask, it's a planning tool. It has budgetary implications. It could be talked about at our budget committee meetings. It could be talked about quarterly, if, you know, as far as if you just want updates or whatever. So it's, a, it's important that that planning tool go forward. I think it's important for the 10-year road, road plan to go forward. I think it's important for the CIP to go forward. I think it's important for the 10-year spending projections to go forward. I mean, those are all things that help us be able to make decisions today, having a better idea of what's coming next year and the year after. And so the, that the $325,000 doesn't come out of thin air, thin air. It comes from the road plan that we've worked on. It's more expensive than we were going to do otherwise because we have the additional $50,000 from the state. So because we had a, an initial 50,000 offset, we, we managed to put more money into roads. But it's still going to be doing the next thing on the list, which is some combination of Roberts Farm, Heritage and Moses Car, and Woodlands, the River Road and whatever. Can I just follow up that? Um, so I get having it in the budget year after year um, is the goal. What happens two years from now when we want to build a police department and the school board has to choose spending $1.5 million on a building and spending that money on a road. They can't. Sure they can. Sure well, they, they have sure to take it out of the operating budget. Well, okay, but so the, so the budgeting process, you know, there would be hopefully a cooperative kind of venture, and if people understood that if, uh, you know, if there were a need to kind of reduce the road expenditures for one year, then that could be part of the process from the beginning of the year, and it could about cooperatively. But do you think it's going to be obvious to people to say, oh, let's not spend $300,000 on, let's take it out of the operating budget this year and instead put it in the police department? They're not going to see that. But if you put these two questions in front of them side by side, and they really feel like they have to make a choice, then they can easily do that. Well, the budget will have got to them from here before that, right? So there will have been a year's worth. I mean, we all we seem to cram it at the end, which is, I mean, I'd like to see a more uh, a venture where we're actually thinking about next year's budget before the fall, and that but there, we're not just reviewing budgets in April. We're also starting to think about how how are we planning for next year? What are the big expenses? How do we think this through? So that you know we can you know the budget committee can be have be more informed and be more participatory in in the overall guidance and role of what that next year's budget looks like. And I do. So, but
but the police station is not going to be a one-year hit. The, the thing with the police station, like, you know, the bond. It's a bond, right? And so it will have an impact. It's not going to be like this. It, it's going to be like this, but then it keeps going. So, and I do have 10-year projections that have some stuff for the police station built in that I thought we could look at if and when we start to have public hearings on that. But it certainly won't be in 2018. But because we've got the, C, the because the CIP has, it varies, but anywhere from $35,000 to $50,000 a year for a police station, then that amount can be used for the funding of the financing costs year to year. So then any additional financing is, it's not the whole thing in other words. It, it wouldn't be the whole thing. But anyway, that's it's a different issue and it's not coming up in 2018. I think we're gonna hopefully work on it in 2018 so that we can think about doing it in, in 20, at least bringing it to the voters in 2019. But I will have projections. I mean, we have those meetings. I've got projections on what that looks like with a police station in our current What is the question? <laughs> oh, can I just, go ahead. Go ahead. Um, that tax that we got paid from with our registration, that five dollar tax. How much money did we accumulate with that? Did that start like? It didn't start first? right away. No, we thought it was, but it didn't start until maybe July or something. There were, so we have about. And that seven, was for roads, am I correct? It can only be used for, well, roads, sidewalks, that's and the like. Yes. And you use that money a lot. There's an off. We haven't used it. I thought you used it for that engineer that was covering the Wood Street project in HDA. No. Because Jeff left. You, you haven't used that money? No, that's still in the fund. Still in the fund. So. Okay. Can we vote it out? No, no. We have agency. The board has agency. Oh, so okay. we will be using it next year. It, it, so it's it's in the revenue as an offset for the for our, the 2018 budget. Now, do we have to vote on this every year, no. or is that it's just going to stay? It just in stays there. there. So we don't know how much is in there, really. Right it's now. seven thousand right now. Oh, only seven. Okay, yeah. it's not seven. Oh, we're on no, 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 no. <laughs> no, we anticipate with a full year close to twenty thousand. But and but we haven't had a full year's worth of experience, so it's hard so to you tell. So you start in July. Yeah. Right? Questions from Paul. What is? Can I have a yes, uh, view I like of the question? <laughs> the question so. was: the motion was remo to remove from the operating budget two hundred and fifty thousand dollars from highway road maintenance and resurfacing. Do you want a specific line number? No. I don't know. Okay. So you know, I have the forms here after the meeting or when we're unofficial, you can sign in. But don't worry, I'm pretty sure I can get one from me because I'm not going to leave you out to dry, Suzanne, I promise. Uh, I'm checking with the Municipal Association just to make sure that a okay. petition warrant article can ask for appropriated funds because it's not clear to me that that's so. Or the town will be shy two hundred and fifty thousand oh, dollars. No, 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 no. no. Well, there, there it is. That's the vote that you just made right here. And I am convinced we're fine. And we'll Let's go hope. Back to the well, we just made a vote here to cut the budget. 
Right. Right. 250 or whatever it is. Right. Now the question is, is that a legal action right. by the budget committee? I don't know. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, I think it is. It's here. Yes, this that is. It's not my, it's my, not the, my so intent to cut the, bu the overall budget. I was cutting the operating budget by 25 uh, percent by the 250, so and I w intended that to be replaced in the capital. Budget. There is there is no there is no warrant that says that. There is no warrant. So there is right now our is overall okay, budget. Okay, that would be cut right now. Is two hundred fifty thousand? Unless we get a petition. From his 25 citizens That's to put on that in if there, maybe, huh? If, if or maybe, it doesn't mean it's going to be a guarantee. You well, cut the bottom line right now. Yeah, yeah, you, you cut it. Wait yeah. a minute. Wait a minute. Point of clarification. Who over here said, if we find out we can't do this, we can put it back at the uh, deliberative session? I Nancy, I there's no deliberative too. session. Though. <laughs> yeah, you put it all back. Town meeting. Town meeting. There's a pub, the public. The public hearing. Right. Right. It can't yes. be more than ten percent. It can't put back more than ten percent of the entire budget. No, no. Budget. The no, voters a, can't put back. Yeah, so we can do what we want. I do not believe that. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yes. This isn't a final. This isn't the final. You can after the public hearing. Oh, okay. But not after the public hearing. Where's the state clause? Just in case. Yeah, we can still undo anything we've done right here now. If we've done it wrong, not wrong, but you did it incorrectly. Right. However, you want to. It, it's the budget's been cut by two hundred fifty. Yeah, it's been cut right. by two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Um, yes. Go ahead. Um, are we talk about operating um, still? Sure. Okay. Um, can you tell me, Suzanne, what our revenues are to date for twenty seventeen? No. I can tell you what they were at the end of November. Oh, yeah, I have that number. Okay. Um, you had anticipated $3,726,738 in revenue, but with the, um, the actual was only $1,186,474, and a difference of $1,540,000. But that's the, that's the financing. That's the long term, that's the proceeds of long term financing, I think. Yeah, no, I was just wondering what our. Um, I'm bringing it up to me. Oh. So you're looking at revenues through 130 there, one point, let's say under 1.2 million. Yes. So the, the, the big difference are the proceeds from financing, right? So, so it's difficult to. It's difficult to talk about. I don't know. I don't know how to talk about it because we will not have received the full one million dollars from financing because we ended up not having to borrow that much money. So we'll see that we'll see the distinction. We'll see all of this resolve itself in the financial statement because we will have um, less of a financial burden obligation going forward, but less fewer. The proceeds were less also this year because we didn't have to end up borrowing. One million twenty-five thousand. <coughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. I don't know how else to clarify. No, I was, so I was looking at the, the trends for the last five years, and um, it looks like our operating costs are up almost thirty percent, um, and our revenue, based on your numbers, is up about twenty percent. So. You, so <coughs> you included. You were just talking about the operating budget. So we've included the, you know, two hundred and fifty thousand in the roads. That no, nope, I excluded that because that would be a forty-three percent increase. So with the roads, the operating budget will have increased forty-three percent in the last five years. So the best, roads, it's best that I can do is to say that one term is not sufficient in explaining what our overall tax rate tax burden is. And so it's not just a function of the operating budget. So if you look at the 10-year projected plans, we have our tax effort for the town, for the municipality in 2017, was $906,424. And you divide that by the 
assessed value and you get your tax rate. The tax effort that we're projecting for 2018 is 901,000 in dollars or about $5,000 less. So it means an overall estimated tax rate for the municipality decrease of two cents. Not very much, but it's a decrease, not an increase. That's based on assessed value. <coughs> it's based on assessed, yes, yes, right. So our assessments have, well, gone up and down. Right, right, but now we've got, so the, the $3.24 that came from 2017 is based on the new assessment. So you, so at least we're apples to apples there, right? So we're using the same assessed value in 2018. If you look at it 2016 to 2017, it gets a little weird because. Okay, so am I wrong in saying that our operating cost, the net increase in our operating cost is close to 10% over the last five years? Probably not if you've got the figures. What I'm trying to say is that if it's the tax rate that we're most concerned about and the tax burden that we're most concerned about, I mean, if, you have, if you bring in more money, then you can afford to do more. Or if the state gives you more money, then you can afford to do more. And so I think what we need to look at is the overall tax <coughs> rate. What is it that we're going to ask all of us to pay with our relative assessed value based on the totality of the budget? <clears throat> and so what we're projecting is that we're going to be asking us, you know, for two, a rate that's two cents less in 2018 than it was in 2017. With the increase in the operating budget, with our repaying our long-term financing. Mm -hmm. Well, the trend for the tax rate, we hope, is not the same. Expenses and revenues. Well, they resolve themselves such that the tax rate is pretty much the same last <coughs> year as this year. Well, 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 the, the, well, I'm not concerned about the tax rate. I'm concerned about what my what the assessed value of the town is, and, and what percent did we increase last year? Two point one percent. What 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 part? Did, what was the increase that you're talking about? What, what, the whatever, value? whatever the assessed base. It went from 227 million to 280, <coughs> something like that. From 227 to 280. Yes. Well, that's that's the more than two percent. Well, that, I, I was talking about the, ta the tax burden, the tax increase. The, the, well, uh, the when, tax you, when you increase my, you increase <coughs> the land. Well, the one I always bitch about is buy a lot over on Robert's farm, but you just doubled the value on it. You, not you, but the clerk of the town, uh, Avitar, because they're the ones that told me, they just decided to double the value on that empty piece of land I have over there, which I got now to decide whether to put it all in current use or sell it for long, because I can't afford to pay double the tax on uh, same piece of land, but my tax has doubled on that. However, my tax on my two pieces of property actually went down 10 or 20 bucks. But they more than offset on that empty piece of land that is doing nothing for it. So what I can tell you, Ed, is that the tax burden went up 2.1%. So on any one property that you had, if your tax burden went up more than 2.1%, it's because your, your value has increased greater than, in relative terms to the rest of the town. If your, ta if your tax, overall tax burden, what you're actually paying, was less than 2.1%, then your property did not increase yeah, no. in value as much as the, the that average. No, my pro my uh, constructed property went down in value both, both pieces. Yes, because but, everybody, because the average was the, about 2. The land went up disproportionately. Yes, I would say... They did say that land, everyone is paying more for the land piece of their assessed value. That is, that was a, a generality in the, the assessed value, in the rebound. I'm not making it anymore. Not making any more land. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a volcano in the South Pacific. We that, right? Okay, I'm confused. Line 226, the health officer. The health officer went from $510 down to $1. I realized 
that he is the building inspector. Well, why wouldn't you keep that at 510 so that he gets paid as a health officer under the health officer's pay rather than the $80 he gets as a building inspector? So, the, most of the large part of the increase and why we, we, we've given him, we're paying him for an extra hour a week is not because of the health work. It's because of the building inspection zone, uh, the enforcement. That's, you know, 95% no. of it. Yeah. So, that's why. But if he does any health work, he's only getting a dollar for it? No. He, no. And he'd be getting out of his building inspector, which is $80. That's the point I'm talking about. Fine. I just didn't understand that one. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, he, we, we need to pay, he, he's been working more than four hours a week. So we need to find a way to pay him for more than four hours a week. So we're paying him for five hours a week. Most of that, 95, 98% is, is on code enforcement, building permits, uh, all that sort of thing. You know, the last time that there was any sustained effort on health stuff was the bed bug issue, right? So whatever you're thinking of, if he were not the health inspector, we would have increased him by an hour a week, yeah. regardless. Well, you did. What I'm four to five. We did. So yes, even if he were not, I'm going to say it again. Yeah. If he were not health I inspector, we would have increased it by an hour a week. So what we did though was to try to fund a small part of that increase by taking it out of the health inspector line. That's what we did. Okay, and that explains. That makes more yeah. sense. That makes more sense. <laughs> Librarian, 12%, is that reasonable? In my opinion, it's not 12% raised. How much, what increase did you have to pay your superintendent? A lot. A lot. It's just a function of employment in the southeast of New Hampshire. If I could do it over again, you'd get a lot more. <laughs> well, I, was, I listened to people. The point is, we're having to pay salaries that are competitive within the employment area that we belong in, which is Stratford and Rockingham County. Could I just say this? I only have, we had like five candidates, and there were only two that we, we, we really looked at. That's where we are. That's exactly. It is a really difficult proposition. We, were lucky we, we went through five, the same thing right? with road agents. Yeah. It was a scary time. <laughs> How is that so? Well, because I have eight employees who aren't going anywhere and they don't get raises. But I have to hire people at a much higher rate. Are you telling me as an employee, okay, I'm an employee and I look around and I look that I can pay, get more money if I work for Judy and I'm not going to do it, I'm going to continue to work for you? I'm, I'm, my, I'm my own boss. I, I mean, I own my own employment skills and I can use them to shop around. Yeah, but right? there are different things that motivate. I personally, do I think Sarah's going to leave if she only gets fifteen hundred dollars? Probably not. You know, but you know, it's close to home. You know, you know, we don't know all the conveniences and things that keep people in place. And all you don't know all the things that make people leave. Right. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. And one of them is better. It happened with our road agent. You know, better pay elsewhere. It happens. It happened with our road agent. And it's ex expensive to hire. You have to, you know, one metric that I've read is that if you're going to replace an employee, you're probably going to spend about 20% of the salary in the replacement of that employee. Everybody good to, to do a vote now? Yeah. Can, I, can I ask it to vote on again? Are you forward to yeah, that's money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, bottom line minus $250. Yeah, we gotta have that new number, whatever oh, right. it is. Okay, so they do need the new number. Yeah. What is
We didn't have a bottom line. Haunting number. school. I'll do it when I'm at home. Yeah, we didn't have a bottom number on the school. Yeah, it's just whatever, whatever, whatever less, you propose. Less, 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 less. Okay. Right. Of course, you know. Okay. Yeah, right. So, I'll make a motion. I'll make a motion. Thank you. I'll second. I'll second. And this is just to bring the operating budget forward, correct? Correct. Less the two hundred and fifty thousand. Roll call vote, Ed? Yes. 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 I guess nobody knows because they don't like it. <laughs> no. It's going to be that way, huh? I'm in the same conundrum, but say to move it forward and we'll get it there and fix it later, yes. 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 Oh, Michelle. Oh, Michelle. Oh, oh, I I will say yes for the same reason that that Bill stated. Yes, Bill. Nine yeses, three no. We just did that. We did water and so on. Yes. 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 Do so that the question becomes do we have a couple of lines? I have another computer. Just put the bottom line. The bottom line? Yeah. Can we can we finish the meeting? The meeting's over the meeting's over all right. Last meeting, um, Bill was not here when we brought the guidelines up, so we were waiting for Bill to come back just to have any comment on that. That was sent, I you know that was a while back, but um, is there any discussion or comment on the guidelines that have been redone a number of times and sent back out to folks? Between this one. I started with this done deal we didn't approve and we were done. No, there was something about capitalizing the spoon that you were all okay. Go ahead. <laughs> At this point, maybe we should just wait till the new budget committee. I think so. Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, so moved. Do we need to vote on it? Or is it okay to have a consensus? Consensus. Consensus, consensus yeah. Um, the budget reporting template that Suzanne sent out that I um, forwarded to everybody, was there any comment on that? Yes? I only have one comment. Can you send it as a spreadsheet so someone doesn't have to build it from scratch again? Because it's all filled out as a well, we would do. I mean, you know, we would do that to the folks who were doing it. Sure. Yeah. I think it was just the template. Well, as a model, I like it. But if you send it out now with a, just an Excel file, It's a PDF right now. That's that's how we release our information. Next year, if we're going to work with these groups, we'll have to see what software they have, what they can work with. I mean, so, you know, some people may be using Google Sheets. Can I just say that I thought all we were doing is getting a template, getting a template, template. as yes. do we think yeah, this I, satisfies the questions and the concerns of the committee I, where I thought we were at. I like it. And again, this is really something that the next budget committee can look at and, and see if they want to go forward with. Because it's, but I think know, since this sheet. committee has brought it up, for, and it's been discussed, we should at least, and you took the time to do it, I think there should be some yay, nay, yes, it's going to work, so that next year we don't get to, because I will be here next year, um, I, I don't, you know, get to the point where we're saying, oh, this isn't good when we have already. Um, you want a sense of the sense of body? I'm just asking if, if people looking at it think this is what yes. people ask for. That's my I question. Think that's exactly what they're asking. Denise? I think it's what we asked for, but I think we need to share it with the other department heads to make sure that they can accomplish that. So for us to say this is what is going to be, you need the input from the other departments. School, sewer, 
I, I, I do not believe that the school will do a separate a separate from what they're doing right. That I, I do not I, I will not recommend that the school do that different. See that that just doesn't solve anything then, because we're, we're trying to be all on the same page. Mm -hmm. And that's Go ahead, the problem. But I, I thought the issue the school was fine because we well, get I thought too. we get yeah. it in that a similar format. It's to get the town in a similar format so that we can all see it. So I thought, and my understanding was, the school was good. Right. I thought it was set up that was acceptable. Oh, right. Yeah, and I it was just agree. the other departments. So the cemetery, the police, the right. fire, the yeah. library. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's only yeah. sub-departments within the town yeah. budget. Oh, I didn't understand it that way. Okay. No, well, thank you for the clarification. Yeah. And every, is everybody think it looks good? Yes. Yeah. Question. This goes to Judy. Uh, what are your plans for Saturday if we have ice? I, when are you going to cancel? It's your meeting. Uh, I, it's the budget committee's oh, meeting. Oh, okay. We have no plans. Okay. <coughs> and so we would like to know because we do have a snow day. We would yeah. like to know because we have people traveling. Our SAU yeah, folks are traveling. When are we going to have ice? We have ice. Have they now move the ice off till later. Yeah. yeah. The snow date is Tuesday, happen. 7 p.m. Yeah. There's always it's gonna, snow day. Right. It's got a cancellation date. So um, you said it's a budget committee meeting? It's the budget committee's meeting. It is not the school room. Right. Can you just sign this? Um, it's the um, budget committee's meeting. I would do whatever you want to do. We'll borrow the school, we'll borrow the school signs. Well, I, I, I don't know that. They're not my signs. I don't know. Like, how, how are you, what is your method of notifying It's the people? budget committee's meeting. What okay. is your method of notifying them? It is not a school board it's meeting. It's posted on the town website. It's not a school district meeting. It's not, it's posted. Yeah. yeah. Is it on the town website? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there was an email. And an email blast went out. Blast went out. And so, um, we don't have money left for that South Coast Lines. Well, we have the sandwich boards so we, can, we can make signs if somebody wants to um, mm -hmm. just. Well, no, well, that's what we use in the budget committee uh, presentation from our directors that came to come up to do some of the signs for the meeting. Right, but I mean, the exact, the, 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 the Budget, the budget of the town would be able to manage that. Okay. So, so if we, if we print out some yeah, of those can you tell me, just give me an idea of roughly how much it would cost? How much it was for three dollars and sixty-five cents. I'm a, sorry. It's three dollars and sixty-five cents if you take it over to Staples and have them do the yeah. printed. That, that's black consequential. So we have, I think, three pretty. Can't sandwich just take boards. the new day one. I don't know that we have oh, one. Seriously. For no, I understand, but I don't know that we have one for they got that one signs at the school. They got a couple of zip signs. Kind of late to be putting signs. signs. Yeah, this is going to go off for Saturday morning, correct? Yeah, it's getting kind of late for that. Well, I mean, so, yeah. Has, have we? Has somebody said this is the budget committee's meeting, and we talked about this about you saying it's not our responsibility to do the signs? No, I'm correct. Really confused by all of this. But this you can always ask. The budget committee's meeting. You, it's always you can ask though. Okay. To have signs made or whatever, it you know there's it, it, this is the budget committee's meeting. I, I, I don't know how else to think it, about it. It always, it always, it always has been. It always has been. So while we're, so we're on the, so the three hundred dollars that was in that line was for communications signs. It's gone now, right? No, it shifted. It was shifted. But it's you're gone. saying we can still do that. We can still use that money. Make a request. Sure. Okay. And so. Um, the town meeting, how is that different? Town meeting, the, budget. the town meeting, we, the, comes from the town, it's a combination of the town clerk and the town. Budget? Only the operating budget. The town meeting is under the purview of the select board. So who forms the responsible there then? Uh, that's a governing issue. So the governing body. Okay. The meetings in January and February are budget committee hearings to hear public comment before you can make your decision. Mm -hmm. Anything after that is the department's responsibility with the deliberative session and the for instance and, right. if, if the school moderator is present it's the school's meeting if the town moderator is present it's the town's meeting otherwise this is you this is our this is the budget committee's meeting on saturday you we will all be seated up front hearing input from the public i intend to present because you know at some point people talked about other people presenting but i do intend to present so Hear public comment before you can make the final decision. That's what it's about. Yeah. That's the point. That's the way it's always been, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is what I was saying. So what I've been saying, the timing is the same. It's to get public input. Oh, the, the, the public.
public hearing. And that's the budget committee. That's the meeting. budget committee's yeah. public hearing, not the town meeting. I, I guess I, I, I thought you meant the budget committee. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 The public hearing yeah. is the budget committee's, mm -hmm. yes. governing issue and not a budget committee issue, and B, we would get a lot of blowback from people who, if we closed the transfer station, because everybody wanted to come, I, I, so it's late in the game, I think it's, <coughs> it's, it's good to talk about, it's just it's late in the game and the select board is a meeting and uh, I would have them ask our road agent to see if there's any other coverage that's possible. I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know what else to do time constraints, but, you know, I would have him go through the mechanism of speaking to the road agent, and the road agent then bring it to the board, you know, going forward as far as how to manage this going forward. Yeah, and it probably is a stressful issue, but, you know, you think about the employees who cannot vote because they have to work at the town offices. Well, I understand, I'm not, but... But it's Wednesday, and the board's not meeting, and we're talking about yeah. Saturday. It's so. not this Saturday. This is not a deliberative. It's not a deliberative. No, no, no. it's just a, but it's a public hearing. Yeah, public hearing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But so we, they could bring it forward to the select board, um, say, Monday, for you guys. We're not meeting Monday. Okay. Before, well, before it. deliberative. Before deliberative, they could do that. And they should go to, yeah, they could go to George, go to the, their supervisor, who's George. Yeah. And then. So did you have Russ and, and Russ is an employee? And a resident, yes. And I don't know about the third person. I don't know. Paul's out. So you'd be down two people. You'd have to just two. Yeah, so, and we don't really have those backups. So, so, so it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, yeah, it's an issue. It's not a issue. Yeah. It's not a it's it's governing issue. issue. Thank, so, thank you. Um, despite my final question uh, for it, so for, um, the budget committee brought forward um, a request to send information to the town about the law article. Um, can you give us a status on that? We haven't discussed it. I just said we haven't discussed it. Just well, I'm just saying there's kind of issue there. Yeah, understood. Motion to adjourn. Is there any other business? Sorry, I'm trying to do this. Any other business that comes before us that we can talk about? <laughs> To adjourn. Second. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. All in favor, yes. Thank you.